to listen into the grilling session of Isiolo Governor Mohamed Kuti. Dr. Kuti is appearing before the Senate Committee on Public Accounts and Investments to respond to the county's audit queries. Let's cross over and listen in. Nietzsche. And, uh, and I'll say, particularly when it comes to the issue of balancing, is that we have a module which is called account receivable in the FMIS. And this account receivable was brought on board on the year 2015-2017. However, it is supposed to have a reconciliation part of it. But the reconciliation part of it was brought on board uh, during the financial year 2016-2015-2017. And therefore, reconciliation uh, were not possible. And, the, and with this historical data coming in and uh, the input of data, this reconciliation at infancy could not fully, uh, the, the infamous uh, system was not fully uh, loaded out. Uh, then from there, uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, we, we, we'll, we'll have to take a brief adjournment of uh, five minutes, um, five minute break. Five minute break, Please. yeah. Then we shall uh, proceed with the explanation. Okay. It's your governor, Dr. Mohammed Kuti, there before the County Public Accounts and Investments Committee answering to audit queries. Of course, they've just taken an adjournment for five minutes. When they come back, they will be answering to some um, expenditure issues. Of course, our Patrick Amimo, our senior parliamentary reporter, is on ground and is following up on this story. We shall be giving you more details on that. Remember, a couple of governors have, uh, have appeared before that committee and have answered to some same um, queries um, on the 2017-2018 financial year audit queries, depending on their counties. Now, away from 